Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video and happy summer solstice to everyone who's watching this today. In ancient times, the sun represented the concept of the divine or spiritual illumination. It symbolizes the highest source of light, energy and consciousness. That's why people were celebrating this special day as the longest day of the year. And they also associated sun with gold as gold represents the highest possible potential of matter it was always a great reminder to find our highest potential to find the light within and to recognize what else can are we capable of doing so as the sun reaches its highest point in the sky let the summer solstice ignite a fire within you Embrace the endless possibilities of your soul, for this is a season of growth, transformation, and as you know, boundless potential. You know that um, there's so much more within you, so much of anything you know you're not giving life to right now, and you know you're capable of so much more. It's a wonderful time, as I mentioned yesterday, to reflect a little bit on how much you're embodying that, what we call purpose. The thing that we would do if there would be no money, you know, sometimes we say, well, I would do that, but um, I need to do something else for making a living. But what I've learned in my life, if we truly dedicate a lot of time and effort and intention into something that is so meaningful, so fulfilling to us. We can eventually make a living out of that thing and that happened to me and you know that it's possible for you as well. So it's not necessary associated with money but it needs to be associated with a sense of purpose. It needs to be connected with a sense of purpose so step into the abundance of light and let it illuminate your dreams and aspirations it's a wonderful time today to take a moment in your busy day and firstly just acknowledge your ideas acknowledge your aspirations acknowledge your dreams and put them into light if you're wondering what it means it means that you just become more conscious of them. You just recognize that they are within you. They've been planted within you from a higher power, from a higher source. Because you have everything, it, everything you need to make something out of them. They've been planted within you for a reason. And only you can recognize what that reason is once you start following them. But also may this solstice be a reminder that within you lays wisdom to release the old and create a summer filled with endless adventure, laughter and love. So my friends, if any of this already resonates with you, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. And as we go further, I want to remind you that as you've been through a lot so much, I want to remind you that you are a survivor. You see, the last um, three years have been heavy for, for all of us. And many of us have been shaken and shook and, and shocked and so on because of many different things. But when you recognize, well, you're still standing, you still have an ability to dream, you still have a great... Um, potential and strength to smile and to keep up and to find wonderful ways to step deeper into the light you are a survivor and I want to remind you to not let the past to define you past you know what we've been through we are not defined by it we are always defined by this present moment and how we look at this moment right now and most of us truly look at this moment from the memories of the past and therefore we feel so limited because we've been through experiences that kind of limited us but sun is reminding you that you need to enlighten yourself you need to enlighten yourself with greater ideas and the world needs 
greater ideas. Everything I've told you until now, those are just ideas. When I say consciousness, when I say you have dreams to follow, those are great ideas. But the thing is, the world needs great ideas. Great ideas are are guiding us, they are motivating us, driving us towards something great. It's not, you know, nothing great comes from limited mind. Everything great comes from great mind and great mind is always aiming towards finding something better, not just for myself, but for all, right? For people around us. Let's experience more connection in this wonderful society. Let's let's experience more meaning. And when it comes to our past, we can only look at it to see what we've missed, right? What have I missed so I feel limited? Because when you notice while I'm still standing right now, there was strength, there was courage that was guiding you, even at the moments where you've been really negative about yourself, when you've been really fearful and worried about yourself, there was still a sense of strength and courage that was guiding you through any kind of sensation, any kind of moment, any kind of experience. And Sun today is reminding you to notice what was that part of you that was kind of pushing you forward. You may say, well, I needed to push myself forward because of money or because of relationships. But actually, deep inside, you wanted to go through it because you were kind of curious what's on the other side. And curiosity comes from inner purity. It comes from inner child. It comes from from that inner self that already knows that everything is possible for you, that already sees the best possible solution, the best possible potential for your future. That's how you become, you know, like the sun, as I mentioned yesterday. The sun is giving, the sun is caring, the sun is shining, the sun is supporting, the sun is nurturing. And when you look at your future, like when you envision your future, when you have a vision for your future, it affects your behavior in the now. And when you start nurturing that vision of the future with today's action, with today's inspiration, with today's, you know, with with beliefs of um, possibility, when you nurture your future with the energy that you have in this moment, you start acting differently, right? You start acting with a sense of of drive, like I know it is I know this is possible. I know I can do it. And deep inside there's a part of you who's already living in that future. We call it the future self. And that future self is reminding you to do something today that that part of you will be proud of you, that that part of you will be happy for you, that the part of you will be celebrating you that you didn't give up. And get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because confidence grows when we're willing to be without it. And Sun is reminding you when you embrace what finds you, it will not be uncomfortable, it will be inspiring. When you find yourself in a stressful situation, know why you're doing it. Know that you want to grow out of it, through it, like the rose that grows through the concrete. Maybe you find yourself being planted somewhere that is not necessarily an ideal environment for your dreams, but you know that you've been planted there for a reason, so you would discover something you couldn't saw before, you couldn't notice before. But your inner light knows that it is within you and once you discover it, you will <laughs> you will reveal to yourself your deepest and greatest possible potential. And it's not about doing it perfectly. Whatever you're aiming towards, it's not about doing it perfectly. Of course, in alchemy, we are striving towards perfection. So a sense of perfection, yeah, it comes from fear, but it also comes from the soul because we are aiming towards perfecting something, certain patterns. That's also something that nature is doing. So it's nothing wrong with that. But if we're obsessed with perfection, we may miss trying right we may we may not even try because we know that we can't make it perfectly so it's not about doing it perfectly but 
it's about our effort it's about our intention it's about doing it starting it and having a vision for it so we know why we are doing it so we know that there's much more to life right the sun um, as we see from our perspective if we look into the sky and we see that ball of light in the sky imagine yourself now being in that perspective of the sun looking down towards your life you will not see just yourself like a little being standing where you are right now you will see your future you will see your past you will see your surroundings you will see possibilities you will see limitations you will see roadblocks and you will see your dreams you will see everything and the question is what you choose to feed you can feed limits you can feed fears you can feed roadblocks you can feed toxic people with your energy with your attention or you can feed those dreams you can feed that love that you have for others you can feed that ability to walk forward that ability to do what before you thought it is impossible and i just want you to remind yourself every single moment you become conscious of yourself okay what am i feeding right now and remind yourself of the sun like the sun it shines for everyone it shines for everyone it is not judging okay that person deserves me and that person doesn't deserve me and when you think about yourself in the same way like when i mentioned yesterday become like the sun let go of that ego let go of that mental perception and start living more from the heart you know when you start giving more caring more provide providing more from the heart not from the idea like what will i get in return but from that inner purity you know that everyone deserves love even those who are lacking it the most they deserve it the most and that's something that mind would never do that's something that um wounds would never do but heart would always be there for those who need love and care the most and it doesn't mean that you should always be like that even the sun you know from our perspective goes <laughs> you know it rises in and it goes down from our perspective and it feels like okay it's time for shining and it's time for resting it's time for for recharging so we are all you know we are using this um, language of a poetry but it can be so inspiring when we look at our lives that way because there are moments when we need to rest when we need to uh, take time and recharge when we need to make sure that our cup stays full or at least half full and there are times when we are pouring when we are giving when we are providing so make sure that you notice that balance right make sure that you notice that uh, you're not um, draining yourself out because of ego because of expectations because of attachment sometimes we want to make certain dreams possible and we work hard on it and if not it's nothing wrong with working hard as long as um, we we know why why we're doing it but when we become so attached to the wanting outcome that we forget about um, letting things happen allowing things happen we may burn out and i want to remind you that um, you don't need to do that because there's a higher force there's a force that is supporting our actions that is supporting our mission that is supporting what we are doing and we all we all are connected to that force but the force supports giving it supports caring it supports creating if you look at the nature nature is not trying to grow it's not trying to bloom it's not trying to smell beautifully it just does because it's it is its nature and once you recognize what is your nature what feels really natural for you something i've i've mentioned also yesterday is when you notice what feels the most natural for you you start doing it completely effortlessly it feels like a flow you plug yourself to the flow state and flow state is a healing state it's a state where we lose the awareness of time we lose the awareness of space and we start doing it because 
that's what uh, we naturally need to do that's why because we know that we've come here for this we've come here to be that force of nature that force of goodness that force of creative expression that force of healing that can uplift others especially those who feel the most lost right now so learn to be the sunshine in somebody else's day and you will always feel that your life is moving into the right direction but don't do it out of ego because often people say yeah i was so kind to those people but then i never got that kindness in return it's because you're doing it from the wrong reasons maybe you're doing it because you've been wounded in the past and you're kind of hiding your pain from others you need to know that if you want your your light to be pure you also need to expose your darkness to the light you also need to identify what is bothering you what is blocking you what is holding you back and bring those pains wounds shadows to the surface identify them write them down talk about them with those who deserves your trust be open be willing to heal yourself and it will be much easier then to share this beautiful light with others because you will notice well i'm not doing it because i want something in return i'm doing it because they deserve it because i know how well i feel when somebody shares kindness love compassion creativity with me and that's when you become like the sun so my friends i hope this um, special summer summer solstice message resonates with you i hope you found something valuable today I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, and power. I hope you found today's painting inspiring. The name of it is The Sun. And to anyone who would like to get a piece of it or a piece of any of my art, go and check out our Etsy shop, I Draw My Passion. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you so much. You're all appreciated. Have a wonderful celebration. Go outside like I am right now, filming this outside in the nature, celebrating it. Celebrate the nature because you are the nature. And when you celebrate the nature, when you learn to enjoy it, it will enjoy you. It will celebrate you. It will gift you with wonderful miracles and beautiful things you will see. So, my friends, have a beautiful time and till next time one love